Hey, welcome to Adventures with Peps. We're back. We're unboxing some more Warlord Games, Judge Dread, 2000 AD, The League of Fairies. Hello and welcome back. So, here we have it. Judge Dread, 2000 AD, Warlord Games, Rebellion Publishing, The League of Fairies. Figures and game cards for the Judge Dread miniature game. It's a pretty decent sized box. So, let's see if we can line this up. In 2080, speed and volume eating, scoffing, has become a major competitive sport and extreme obes obesity became the desired body image for many mega city citizens. In retaliation to the perceived injustice of the food restrictions following the Apocalypse War, militant elements of the obese founded the League of Fatties, believing they had an inalienable right to food, which they would take by any means necessary. Whilst an individual fatty might seem a less than threatening figure, the first food raids saw massed wedges <laughs> of obese activists trundling towards, supported by their belly wheels, with their layers of flab providing a natural armor against anything but the most lethal weapons. Little could stop them once momentum was gained. Large numbers of skinnies and bones were crushed in the stampedes and from belly flops, but after the death of several judges trying to protect the food storage facilities, a crackdown was swift. Most fatties were confined to special fat blocks kept on strict diets for the maintenance of public order uh, where, uh, and their own protection. Sorry, the light's on. I'm struggling to read it. Until the weight fell below 300 kilograms. Box contains free warlord resin fatties, a plastic bases, a unit card, an armory card, and a big make card. So let's get into it. Alright, I hope everyone's week's been good. It's been a hot one in Ottawa. Like, stupidly hot. Alright, what do we got? So, box is empty. Farewell. So, the card set for League of Fatties. Uh, Packaged to you by that person, Ips. Thank you, Ips. So, Armory Card. Met Pack. Remove all injury and stun markers from one model. Pretty straightforward. Let's put that there. Big Meg. Umpty Candy. Umpty Candy addiction is no joke. Nominate D3 models to get a whiff of the sweet stuff. They must pass a cool test or become pinned and stunned. That's a pretty cool card. I like that one. And then the fatty stats. Some citizens simply stay put and eat, drifting into ultra-morbid obesity. However, even the most immobile still crave a sense of belonging and achievement even if that achievement is being able to eat enough food to keep a cursed Earth Muti family alive for a year in one sitting. Special rules, wall of flub, jet bath, Ooh. jet bath, let's see, power four, short range three inch with a plus three modifier, long range nine inches, minus one modifier. Special blast, two inches, stunned, aimed, fire only. Hand over the grub, Bub. Love it. So Prime Porker. He's like the, the the big guy. He's nine points by the looks of it. And yeah. So they all move three inches. Pretty bad at shooting. Okay at fighting. Zero on the evade. Quite defensive. Cool check is average. And they cost three, five, and nine. So the main pack, packed by Alice. Thank you, Alice. Right. Here we go. Foam. 
All right, let's see what we got. So we have a cleaver, a guy with a pistol, another pistol arm, and a baseball cap head. We then have See if I can reposition my light a bit better. There we go. Then have the lady who is eating by the looks of it chicken wings. Maybe that light's too intense. Oh, there we go. She's got chicken wing and what looks like a little pistol. Put her here. We got this guy. Who's got his little cake and beef burger? Look at that. These are very clean. There's a little bit of flash on this one. And there's a little bit on this one as well. But nothing too crazy. He looks like he will take a meat cleaver and a pistol, most likely. Then we got... This must be for the baseball cap guy. A little bit of flash, but nothing crazy. I think he's holding a, uh, like a, a sub. He's got a hot dog up here. Gonna have to look at the box to see what that actually is. Bear with me a moment. Yep, it's a hot dog in his hand, so he has, he's carrying two hot dogs. I like the, let's see if we can get it. This hot dog even has the sauce on the top, <laughs> which is great. And then we got some legs. We got one that looks like it's running. Running for a fatty anyway. Oh, they all seem to be kind of running. So right now I'm going to just pause and give this a clean up and then we will be back. Right and we are back. I've cleaned them. I've scrubbed them. Let's have a look. The super glue should be pretty much set by now. Here is the lady fatty eating her fried chicken. She's got a few empty bones on there. She got a little pistol. Like, I think these models are amazing. Uh, customization is a bit limited on them. But if that is my only complaint, then good job, Warlord Games. Amazing. So, lady, I'm not sticking them to their bases yet, because I feel if I stick them down, they are going to be a pain to get the uh, the texture onto the base. Next up is Baseball Cap Man with his double hot dogs. There he is. I armed him with just a cleaver. Felt like his body lent to the pose. Can be. I can imagine that it's kind of like a. He's giving a brave heart speech and then lifting his sword in the air. In this case, a meat cleaver. And whenever there's an opportunity to make a gunslinger, I gotta make a gunslinger. So this guy, with his hamburger and his cake, he is now double pistol pistoling it. Which I think looks epic. Right. I also have somewhere nearby, hopefully, have the old mongoose game one. So let me just pause and I will be back. So, here is the old Mongoose Warlord games. Uh, oh, he is dusty. Basically, never got very far with him. But, base coats were down. Maybe I'll strip him and repaint. Maybe I won't. But if I remember correctly, his, yeah, his feet are metal with his belly wheel. And the upper part was plastic and then his arms and head were metal. But he is big. Look. 
<laughs> that is quite a size difference. So, looking at the rules again quickly. I'm thinking that maybe... Maybe this guy I can use as a prime porker. So he would have a move of three, shoot of two, fight of four, zero on evade. Uh, six defense, three of cool, cost nine points. And then he would have wall of flub and jet bath. Ooh, that makes sense for him, I think. He would be a prime porker. And the other guys would either be a contender or a normal fatty. I think like he would be a normal fatty with his meat cleaver. So what, nine, three points, twelve. You know what, if we make her a normal fatty as well, that gets us to fifteen and then him gets us to twenty. That's a twenty point down. That's pretty impressive. Uh, sorry, just looking in the rule book. For 20 points, how many judges can I get? Uh, Anderson is 25 on her own. Gerhardt is 21. Uh, droids. Did I skip that? Do 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 heroes and villain. Here we go. So for twenty points, I could get, ooh, I could get a street judge, or I could get a normal judge. That's about it. Twenty points does not get you a lot of judges. So these four are the equivalent of a senior judge. I think I just said already for gone. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll try and get some uh, close-up shots. And until next time, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Every little helps.